Hello and welcome to Epos Anytime. In this video, I will be showing you how to process a delivery order using our software. First, you must select your user account on the left hand side and enter in your 4 digit password, followed by the enter button. A delivery order always starts with your customer calling you. I am therefore going to make a call so you can see how this will show on our software. As you can see, the number has appeared at the top of the screen. From here, we are able to create a delivery order by selecting the delivery button. The mobile number field has already been filled in for us from the previous screen. If the customer has ordered from you before, then their delivery address would also show. We can also add extra information about the customer if we wanted, such as their title and name. In the top right, we enter in the customer's postcode. The postcode area prefix is set to your restaurant city location. Once we have entered in the postcode, you then press the house number button to load up the addresses linked to the postcode entered. We can now set the address and you can see we have all the information about the customer to process a delivery order. Now we have this information, we press OK. At the top of the screen, the software is showing us which employee is processing the order and the order type. I will now begin processing the order from the main screen where it shows our food categories. When you have finished taking the order, you select the finish order button where we approach with this screen. From here we are able to set the order as paid or not paid and also select the estimated time to prepare the order. As almost all delivery orders are paid on a cash on delivery basis, I'm going to set this order as not paid and select the time, 45 minutes. We then have the option to print the order. We can print one receipt for our own use, print two receipts so we are able to give a copy to our customer, keep one to ourselves or we can save the order as normal to the system and print no receipt. In this video, I'm going to print one receipt. Here you can see how a typical receipt looks when printed out. Working from the top downwards, you would have your shop name or logo, address and telephone number, order type, customer's name, contact number and delivery address, and whether they are a new customer or existing customer, customer's order and payment ordering time details. When the order has been printed, we now return to the main screen where we can review the order we have just taken. To do so, we select our user account and enter in our 4 digit password. We now select the delivery list button and select our order. At the bottom of the screen, we have the option to get directions to the customer's address, print the order, edit the order, cancel the order, send the customer an SMS message to inform them their delivery is running late, mark the order as paid, or add a viewer note on the order. If we press the close button, we now return to this screen. Looking closely at the assign driver button, it is informing us one order is unassigned. Clicking this button loads up the orders which need to be assigned to the driver who delivered the order. To assign an order to a driver's name, we select the order and choose the driver in the right side panel. As you can see, the delivery order has now been removed from the unassigned list. Now if we press close and then driver payment button we can see it shows here the orders we have just assigned to our driver and clearly shows the total amount of deliveries they have taken and their amount due. We can also set the order as paid and unassign the order. If we click close the driver analysis button allows us to see the total number of deliveries all of our drivers have delivered during the shift. We are also able to identify how many orders are paid and how many orders are not paid so we know how much cash the drivers have collected. You are also able to change the dates of this report to get a more in-depth information and can print this information by selecting the print button. To get back to our main screen, we click close on our current screen and then switch user. Thank you for watching our video.